When you're designing your company culture, the fact of the matter is it starts with you. In conversation with CEO of Numi Organic Tea, Ahmed Rahim, he says you need to be aware of yourself. What are your values? What are your beliefs? And really be rooted in them and have them guide everything. When I was coaching a new client who had less than 20 employees, I said to her, you know what, if you don't like your culture, look in the mirror. And she was kind of affronted, but then she said, oh my gosh, you are so right. All my employees have picked up my bad habits. So the first thing you have to do is realize who you are and how that's going to affect your culture. Also during growth, you're going to have to change. And here are the three most common things that executives have said they've had to attend to. One, they needed to move from being a tactician to a strategist. And if you're operationally focused, you have to be super aware because it's going to be really hard for you to get out of the weeds. Jason Fried, the CEO of 37 Signals, puts it this way. Our continued growth depends on me becoming a different kind of leader, one who is able to see when other people can do a better job than I can. The second thing that people said that they encountered during growth is that they needed to let go. And this really depended on the leader's personality. Rob Doob, who's the CEO of Image One, he has a phrase, delegate and elevate. So he's, a, he's very much in empowering. But Dave Goldman, he admitted in his venture before SurveyMonkey that the hardest thing for him was when they grew from 20 to 50 employees and he had to let go. It was very hard for him. So the third most common thing that leaders said that they needed to do as their company grew was to make a point to still be accessible to employees. Because it's hard to have a personal connection when the company grows. So for example, Warby and Parker have Monday roulettes where the random groups of people go to breakfast with the co-founders. Another example is that the president of Navion North America, when he took helm, there was 50 employees and now there's 80 employees. One of the first things he did was schedule one-on-ones with every employee and he continues that practice today. So when it comes to designing your culture, please remember it starts with you and you're going to have to change as your company grows.